on this episode of West Chicago Mountain Railroad. We're going to be doing a full review on this brand new MTH BNSF ES44AC with the 25th anniversary paint scheme. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey folks, Matt here with West Chicago Mountain Railroad. Now before we get started, I did want to cover one thing. You would be surprised the number of subscriptions or subscribers I have to this channel based on the number of views I get on each video. It is under 20%. And I would really appreciate uh, those of you out there that are not subscribed, if you could hit that subscribe button for me, I would really appreciate it. Uh, this tells me that you're interested in the videos that I make. You don't have to like all the videos that I put out there and you obviously don't have to even, you know, leave comments. But if you are happy with the content that I make, I would really appreciate uh, a subscription if you could possibly. Uh, again, uh, this helps me out, helps me know that people are watching my channel and I really want to drive the channel. I want to, I want to get more subscribers and I want to make great content uh, for all you great YouTube people out there. So with that said, let's move on to the review. All right, so what we have here is the MTH ES44AC in the BNSF road name. It is the 25th anniversary paint scheme. These were offered at the beginning of this year, 2021. They are uncatalogued. And what does that mean? Well, they were actually part of MTH's kind of new <laughs> email catalog, so to speak, where um, they were doing some, well, this was before we kind of knew all of the information and where MTH was going to end up and stuff like that. But they were doing some last minute runs of engines. And one of these, the the BNSF ES44 AC 25th anniversary paint scheme was one of them. Now, they offered a whopping 12 versions of, the, of this engine. And what I mean by that is there are six three rail versions, which is what we have here. Um, and we have, there are six two rail version and the road numbers are the same between them, so there's technically only six road numbers, but 12 individual product numbers were released for these. Uh, they started taking pre-orders in January, and they were delivered this a month in June of 2021. All right, so the MSRP on this was $519.95. The pre-order price on this was... For fifty nine ninety five, so you could save around sixty dollars if you actually pre ordered it. However, most of the uh, the online retailers that I saw when it was released this month had it between four hundred and fifty dollars and like four hundred and like ninety dollars. You know, minus a coupon here and there. So you could definitely get it, and I should say you probably should have spent less than five hundred dollars on this particular engine. Now, again, there were six road numbers available. It was 6022, 6017, 6078, 5828, 5869, and 5872, which is the road number that you see right here. So I'm not going to go too deep into the history of this engine. Uh, there's a lot of online resources available for this. Uh, I will put the Wikipedia link in the description on this particular video. So if you can click on it, you can go visit that site and pretty much find all the information that you would like on it. Now, I will go over a couple of quick points. This is obviously the 25th anniversary paint scheme. Now, the 25th anniversary was actually last year in 2020. And that celebrates the merger of Burlington Northern and Santa Fe, 
which was in 1995. So 2020 would, in fact, be the 20th anniversary. All right, so this engine is obviously part of the GE Evolution series. The ES44AC, so ES standing for Evolution Series, the 44 standing for 4400 horsepower, and the AC at the end standing for AC Traction. Now the Evolution Series was built by General Electric Transportation Systems. It's now owned by Wabtec, if I said that correctly. Uh, initially designed to meet the U.S. EPA's Tier 2 locomotive emission standards, that took effect in 2005. Now the first pre-production units were built in 2003. Evolution Series locomotives are equipped with either AC or DC traction motors, depending on the customer's preference. All are powered by the GE Jevo engine. The Evolution Series was named as one of the top 10 locomotives that changed railroading in the January 2009 issue of Trains Magazine. It was the only locomotive introduced after 1972 to be included in that list. The Evolution Series, mainly the ES44DC, AC, and ET44AC, are some of the best-selling and most successful freight locomotives in United States history. All right, so let's go over some of the features uh, introduced by MTH. So this is a... PS3, the product number on this specific engine is 20-21510-1. It is, of course, the 3 Renault version. According to MTH, it has die-cast truck sides, pilots, and a fuel tank. It's got a metal chassis, some metal handrails, and a horn. There's movable roof fans. There is a detachable snow plow. We'll get to that a little bit later when we go in for a closer look. There are two hand-painted engineer cab figures. There are metal wheels, axles, and gears. It does have prototypical Rule 17 lighting. Um, all the lights on this engine are LEDs. That includes the interior cab light, the number board, and the flashing ditch lights on the front. It does have two precision flywheel quip motors. There is a proto smoke exhaust coming from the stack, which again we will look at in a little bit. It does have a DCC and DCS decoder on board. So again, if you do run this in, if you do have the two rail version, uh, you can run this uh, via DCC. So. Uh, it is a scale locomotive. So it is 148 scale proportions. Again, it has ProSound 3. It measures uh, in length around 19 and a half inches, uh, two and a half inches wide and about four inches in height. It does operate on 042 curves. However, it will, in fact, negotiate 036 curves without any problems at all. Now, back to the PFA sequence. If you were hoping for some type of custom or a very unique PFA sequence on this, I'm afraid you will be very disappointed because it is a basic generic Dispatcher, local freight, uh, passenger freight, or I should say just freight announcement. Um, I was really, really hoping that they were going to put something unique in here. The MTH usually does that with a lot of their kind of unique or special engines, and they didn't do it here. Now, is that a deal breaker? Absolutely not. It, I was hoping for something special along the PFA. They didn't do it. Okay, no big deal. I'll, I'll move on. <laughs> All right, so let's go in for a closer look. We'll go ahead and start at the front here. Down below, we do have a snow plow, a detachable snow plow. Now, MTH engines do come with the snow plow as a separate optional accessory. You just turn the engine over, you put in two screws, and the snow plow's attached. So I install all mine just because I live in the Midwest, and the BNSF engines here have snow plows on them, so I just follow suit. There are some MU hoses behind the snow plow. There's a coupler cut bar here, metal handrails, kind of metal chain here. There are two ditch lights here and they do flash when the horn is blown. There are some other kind of add-on details like this metal railing ladder. There's two headlights here. Got a hood here uh, with some uh, minor kind of um, add-on details. 
Uh, you know, here's the front windshield, two LED number boards, some additional kind of add-on details on top, air conditioner, etc. As far as the front looks, MTH did a great job. Really love that 25th anniversary paint scheme on there. So let's go ahead and move down to the side now. All right, so let's look at the side here. Uh, the engineer side of the cab. Sunshades here. The windows, I believe. Don't know if these move or not. I don't want to mess with it because I don't want to break it. Uh, you know, clear paint job with road number. You know, some detailing here. You know, there's a plaque down here as well. Trucks are done very, very well. Uh, you know, great silver paint on those. All in all, you know, MTH usually does a pretty good job with their paint matching. And this comes about as close as I've ever seen it as far as BNSF engines go. So kudos to them for getting it spot on. Again, you know, metal railing here. Uh, here's part of the anniversary paint job right here is the BNSF 25th anniversary labeling there. Got some vents up here with some, you know, some minor kind of like labels or like warning stickers on them, I believe. I'd have to go in closer to actually look at those, but let's move on down a little farther. We'll take a look at the logos. All right, so continuing down, here is the mid part of the engine itself. Railing continues, again, labeling and stickers down here. Uh, great looking fuel tank here with some kind of like minor uh, add-on details and some coloration here. Uh, got, a, got a horn up here and here's the smokestack and obviously to load smoke in this engine you just pour smoke fluid down there and it's good to go. So we'll see this the smoking stack uh, later on when we run it around the layout. And of course the most, or I should say the best thing about this particular engine are these BNSF Heritage logos on the side. This is kind of what drew me to this particular engine. I mean, I'm a huge BNSF fan, obviously. And I don't think I, I don't think I noted this before, but I actually do own three other BNSF ES44 ACs. <laughs> so uh, they're all Lionel, actually. Um, they're all a little different. Uh, one's a dummy unit, the other one came with the oil tank set, and then the other one is the newer one from last year with the new radio chatter and the like the five horns. Uh, I was thinking about doing a comparison between the two. I think I'll leave that for an, for another video. I don't want to do it in this one because obviously I want to de dedicate this to this particular engine and use up all the time to discuss all the details and the running on this particular model and not do comparisons and stuff like that so uh, I will give you just a quick spoiler that they're pretty much almost identical there are some things that MTH does right there are some things that Lionel does correctly and there are some things that both of them do a little bit incorrectly but again I'll digress that's for another video so let's take a look at these Great looking logos, which I said before is probably the the best thing about this particular engine. So MTH did a spot on. The logos are really crisp. They come out. The colors are correct. Uh, just fantastic job here. All right, let's continue on. We'll go to the rear of the engine and finish up the uh, the closer look here. Okay, so here we're at the back. Uh, Again, not mo too much going on here. Metal railings. Uh, again, another working protocoupler back here. Here you can actually see the MU hoses, the coupler cut bar. Got the row names here. You got your um, your rear uh, backup light headlights right here. Uh, to gain access to the controls on this particular engine, you know, like the manual items, you, you lift the roof here. Get it. And what you have here is, I'll, I'm gonna actually uh, raise up the camera here so we can actually look at it a little easier. Okay, so again, just to make it easier for you guys to see. a Couple of switches, DCC, DCS, smoke, uh, volume, 
uh, you know, just kind of your, you really don't have to touch anything in there if you're running this with DCS. I didn't flip any switches or turn anything. These are all mostly used for if you plan on running it with DCS uh, or if you're running running it conventionally, you would come in here and, um, and uh, you know, select whichever functions you want on and off. And then to get it back on, uh, it's just held together with, with, with simple little magnets here. So it just kind of goes right like that. All right, so let's do just a really quick look at the bottom of this engine. There are no switches down here. However, there are four pickup rollers in total. There are two on each truck. The middle axle on each truck is a dummy axle. Uh, that allows it to take sharper turns. Here is where the snow plow attaches right here. So there's two screws right here. You just kind of place that right under there. You screw in the, the two Phillips screws and you're, you're good to go. So. All right, so let's go, let's start this up. We'll go through the startup sequence. We'll blow the horn, do the PFA sequence, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish this uh, review up with a couple of trips around the layout. Nothing shifted, and they got the load secured with spare change. 
Yeah, we didn't find anything wrong back further. I guess that chain was the only issue. I'm glad we got that sorted out before any serious damage was done. The worker will inform the dispatcher and we should see a proceed signal soon. And there it is. Here we go. on this MTH BNSF ES44AC with the 25th anniversary paint scheme. Overall grade, I give this uh, a definite A in my book. The paint scheme is just 100% awesome for me. Now, as for like the value of this engine, if you are a Santa Fe person, Burlington Northern, if you're a BNSF fan, I 100% recommend this engine if it's within your budget uh, and you're and you're you know into modern day diesels uh, this is definitely you can't go wrong with this uh, great sounds uh, great features on this runs fantastic uh, I haven't had any issues with it at all well thanks everybody for tuning in to another episode of West Chicago Model Railroad if you like what you saw go ahead and hit that like button Leave a comment if you have any questions or comments on what you saw today. And again, like I said in the beginning, uh, I would really appreciate those. If you could hit that subscribe button, it would really help out the channel tremendously. So with that said, uh, thank you very much and everybody have a wonderful day.